Adobe InDesign. So we'll continue lesson three today. It's setting up a document and working with pages. Objectives. The first one is override master page items on document pages and placing text and graphics in our document page. And the second one is to view and rotate spreads. Now let's hop over to our first um, lesson for today. Overriding master page items on document pages and placing text and graphics. So now that we have uh, finalized the framework of the 12-page publication, we are now ready to lay out document pages. So in the pages panel, we, we're going to double click page two, as you can see from the arrow there. And let's uh, take a view of the whole page. So click view menu and select fit spread in window and it will look like this. This is now the, the whole page that we can view in our, in our window. So let's go ahead, uh, choose file menu and click place. And we are going to add articles and graphics. So after we click the place button, we will be able to see the place dialog box and we are going to locate lesson 3 folder because this is where our files are located and inside that folder you will be able to see links and we have two articles and two graphics that we are going to choose so to select those files you need to press the shift key okay, click article 1 press shift key and then click graphic to jpg and you'll be able to select all files so once they are selected click the open button and in here in your document window you will be able to see a loaded text icon indicating like there's a cursor and uh, several of the text that are available for us to insert in our document so what we need to do next is we're going to place the text in this uh, page. It's the left, uh, the first column of page number two. And the other text, we are going to place it here as I have encircled it. It's in the left uh, column of uh, page three. So, and after that, we are going to insert the graphics as well. So there are two graphics that we need to put. The first one is in page one and the second in page, no, page two. The second is in page three. So we have the first and second articles, the graphic, first and second graphics. So we'll just make some adjustments here. Uh, for the text, the paragraph, make it uh, like this, fill up the first and second columns for page number two and also adjust the um, paragraph or the text in page number three adjust it in first and second columns as you can see it from the picture here so let's click the edit menu and deselect all to have a fresh view of our, our document and we can go ahead with the next step, which is we are going to add another snippet. So let's click the file menu and go to place button again. So once we click that one, since we have opened the place dialog box a while ago, now it will offer us the same files. And let's go to select snippet 2.idms, then click the open button. So in here, I have actually dragged from the top left corner, so down to the right 
uh, bottom corner of the page, there's an arrow. And the one that I circled are the snippets that we inserted. Okay, it will, we, we placed snippets there. So let's go ahead, uh, deselect um, whatever is selected frame in our page. We deselected to have a fresh view of our page and we can save what we have done so far. In our next step, we are going to override two master items into our spread. So how are we going to do that? Let's select the, the text, the type tool. Okay. And from, that's from the tools panel. Then hold down for those who are using Windows. You click the shift control keys. And those who are using Mac, use the shift command keys. So once you press on those buttons, you click in the header text, the first header text. And then we are going to change uh, skills there. Okay, you, you rename that one with the skills. And the second header text, you rename it with shots. So once we're done with that, we can save what we have done so far. And I think we are now ready to view the completed uh, spread in our Adobe InDesign document. Now let's uh, go to viewing the completed spread. So at this point of time, we can actually, we wanted to hide the guides and the frames and see what the completed spread looks like. So in our next step, we are going to choose the selection tool. After that, click view and fit spread in window to be able to see the whole view of our document. Then click view again, go to screen mode and preview, and you will have a fresh look of, your, of our document. So this is how our document looks like. The guides, the text frames, are now removed and yeah that looks pretty good now so we can go ahead choose file and save so the next step is how to rotate spreads so I have a ready made file here it's actually a lesson it's also part of lesson 3 so if you open that file we have uh, this uh, page uh, like it looks like uh, a side view of our of our of our page so double click page 4 and then choose view fit page in window so you, we can see the whole page and then from the view menu uh, go to the rotate spread and we are going to rotate it clockwise to 90 degrees and there you go. Now we have a clear view of our calendar. So from here, we can now uh, edit something. If you wanted to add notes or some images or text, this is now the time for us to um, make some adjustments in this page. So once we're done with that, you can click view again, uh, select the rotate spread, and clear the rotation, and it goes back to the original position. So that's how to rotate spread. We can save the one that we did and we can close the file. So we can choose to don't save or save button. So congratulations. We have completed lesson three, setting up a document and working with pages in Adobe in design. So before we proceed to the next lesson, I would like to show you um, review questions and review answers to enhance our learning about lesson three. So go ahead, um, check these review questions and answers all about lesson three in Adobe InDesign. So thank you everyone.